In this video, we're going to look at glassing the mold with six ounce fiberglass. I'm starting here with the sheet out on a big table and folding it up neatly so that I can place it in the mold without a lot of trouble. So I'm doing this by myself and handling a big piece of glass like this is to be a headache. So I laid it out down the middle. Um, it had been folded, sort of flaked on itself and uh, it made it very easy to get it draped neatly over the mold and um, I'm not sticking it down with any spray adhesive or anything here just laying it in making it neat and trying to work out any of the wrinkles before I apply the epoxy to the top of it and soak through um, this is pretty easy stuff to work with and here goes the epoxy this is West System or similar uh, 5 to 1 room temperature cure epoxy. Um, this may be fast because it's kind of cold uh, and I want it to be done quick. And just starting down the middle, um, anchoring it in place with the wet resin and working that resin out systematically to the side, soaking it through the glass as I go. It takes a while. Um, here I am making some progress and there it is pretty much fully wet out. I saved the back end to do in a second, second piece. Um, it's gonna, not going to be the neatest thing and the flanges are pieced together with a bunch of laps in the flanges but I avoided laps throughout the part. And now I've made what may have been a bad decision and peel plied the whole thing. You can see the red stripes is nylon peel ply. Um, there's some pros and cons here. It will help hold the resin from draining out of the part and give me the vacuum integrity I'm after, but it did cause some uh, unnecessary surface roughness. Um, and I was in a bit of a hurry, so I gave it a tent and heated up. And then I think the next day, pulled the peel ply off. And um, the nice thing about the peel ply is it kept a lot of resin on the surface, um, and it gave me a nice place to secondary bond when I go to lay in my um, filled primer layer. Um, but first I had to do some grinding so I carefully taped my wrists up to not get fiberglass up my sleeves, taping the suit and then taping the gloves to the suit and went over the whole thing starting with the flange. Uh, careful not to burn through the glass. Here I'm taking down some of the laps where the glass um, has to be smoothed out um, and taking off that nasty edge. I um, also went at it with some 36 grit on a tube, um, again just to make sure it's as smooth as possible before we move on to the next step, which is going to be troweling um, some high build epoxy primer onto the surface to fill pinholes and give a good base for the fairing process. Uh, but at this point, this epoxy layer gives us a mold that will hold vacuum, and that's the whole point. It's a little bit of extra work, but hopefully it will pay off in terms of having a mold that doesn't leak, um, and having a substrate that supports a nice fairing layer. So here it is, all sanded up. There are definitely some pinholes there's some nasty stuff. Um, the glass layer is solid across the whole thing without any laps in the part, which is a bit of a chore. Um, and you can see the peel ply texture. And down in the, the inside of that radius here, um, there's definitely kind of a flat spot from pooling resin, which I'll have to take care of. Um, that's one of the major drawbacks of the glassing. Up next, fairing the mold.